Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today we're gonna to be working on installing a gearbox onto a general pump TSF 2221 10 gallon minute pump. So anyways guys, here's what we're gonna be working with. We got this uh, general pump and we got the PA gearbox. This is a B24 for a one inch shaft. This is good up to 24 horsepower. Uh, here is the box from EnviroSpec. I think this was 197 So here we are at 200 bucks, roughly. And we are at, I think this was 730 from Washmark. Free shipping. Okay, all right. Hit up Marco, Amber, they'll hook you up. Anyways, we're going to be putting on the uh, Predator 670. So is this a 10-gallon a minute budget build? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, so anyways guys, we're gonna show you how to install this gearbox. This is the first time we installed it. I pretty much watched the video from Washmart. Uh, thanks Marco and uh, your tech who did the video. It's kind of helped me, even though it was a different pump, different setup, it's a little bit different, but I got the concept of it. So pretty much we mounted it kind of like we were gonna mount that on the 420. But anyways guys, enough of me talking. Let's get in and show you the video, thanks. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, uh, take these boats out. That way we can get, um, so in theory, what I'm thinking is I want this to set on it like such. That way everything's gonna be just like it is on the current setup. So I guess we could just go ahead and set this to the side. Guys, here we go. We're gonna take these boats loose. So we'll take this O-ring and put this around this lip, just like such. All right, guys, we got you a little bit better view, and I had to go get the uh, Loctite opened up. But this comes with these four boats, and uh, it comes with these little washers. You just go ahead and uh, get those lined up. All you need is just a little dab of Loctite. I'm just using the blue Loctite. It's removable. It's not a permanent thing. Like I said, you just need a little dab. All right. We're gonna go ahead and get this started by hand. got that going next thing we're going to do is get our big gasket and we're going to stick it on the lip here as you can tell this has got a little groove for it let's see if we can get it to go Next thing we need to do is get our gear. And I am gonna take a dab of Loctite, just a smidge. It's a long shot, but let's see. Hey. Alright, lucky you found that randomly in the toolbox. 
That is a size four. I guess that's a metric. I think that's what's worked. We got the plug, we're gonna put the bottom of the little lock tight. I have an adjustable ramp handy, so this is what I'm gonna use. Just a little snug. the uh, sight glass so it's going to be going over here hand tighten <clears throat> gonna again get the office was gonna be big enough way to get that another one Got an inch and a quarter. <laughs> I had that for a car once. Got it mounted, got it ready to go. Oil cap. Also comes with one, I'm assuming, if you wanted to ship it. Boat. 
steps over here to mount it up. Hey guys, Jeremy here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be working on today. In the video, we're gonna be putting a gearbox onto a general pump uh, TSF 2221. Right here is the preview. Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today we're going to be working on installing a gearbox onto a general pump TSF 2221 10 gallon minute pump. So anyways guys, here's what we're going to be working with. We got this uh, general pump and we got the PA gearbox. This is a B24 for a one inch shaft. This is good up to 24 horsepower. Uh, here is the box from EnviroSpec. I think this was 197 So here we are at 200 bucks, roughly. And we are at, I think this was 730 from Washmart. Free shipping. Hey, okay. all right. Hit up Marco, Amber, they'll hook you up. Anyways, we're going to be putting on the uh, Predator 670. So is this a 10-gallon a minute budget build? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, so anyways guys, we're gonna show you how to install this gearbox. This is the first time we installed it. I pretty much watched a video from Washmart. Uh, thanks Marco and uh, your tech who did the video. It's kind of helped me, even though it was a different pump, different setup, it was a little bit different, but I got the concept of it. So pretty much we mounted it, kind of like we were gonna mount that on the 420. But anyways guys, enough of me talking. Let's get in and show you the video, thanks.